Uh-oh. That puts me in a bad mood. I'm out of coffee. Okay. I'm taking it out on Dave Stanton. Sorry, Dave. Somebody had to take it. This video is about gluing up a segment half circle. Uh, so many times, like especially at bigger arches, they have to do it in segments and put the whole thing together and glue the pieces all up. Uh, Dave Stanton just did one recently that I watched it today. And he says that it was the easiest way to, bragging that it was the easiest way to do a clamp. Now, don't get me wrong. I've watched Dave's channel for years. I like his work. He is very competent woodworker. Has great ideas of many times in the past. But on this one, I'm out of coffee, Dave. I got to take it out on somebody. Sorry. But what he did was not really a, a very good solution, in my opinion, Dave. Sorry, Dave. So what his solution, you got to go watch his video. So if you haven't watched it, I suggest you stop. Go watch his real quick. I'll leave a link to it in my description box below. Go watch his and come back and this will make a little more sense of when I read how I relate this to what he did. But basically, he took, he's trying to clamp this up with a bang clamp. And obviously, if you try to do a full circle, you can put a bang clamp on it and everything pushes inward evenly to bring it together on the joints. But if you're only doing a half circle because you're doing an archway, especially on a big one, you don't want to build the whole circle and then cut it in half or anything like that to be too much. So all you need is to make a half circle. To make a half circle is actually pretty easy. All you need is a straight board and two cleats, and you're done. And I don't care whether this thing is six foot diameter arch or a six inch. You can do it this way, and it will give you a nice clean glue up on a half circle. Uh, quite easily, all you have to do is you have to know two things. You have to know the outside diameter of the arch and the inside diameter of the arch. And with those two things, you got it made. So you take your bang clamp. First, you take your pieces after you've cut them, and you put them all together with glue and set them all up together. And you put a, a straight edge board, a flat board, all the way across that reaches. And the length of this board is determined by the diameter of your arch. If you have a six foot arch, then you want your board to be five foot, 11 inches. You want it to be just a little short of the overall diameter of the outside diameter because you don't want the board to stick beyond on either edge. Then you have two cleats and you set those apart from each other to the dimension of the inside diameter centered on the board. So wherever center is, you lock this one in here, this one in there. This board is an inch less than the outside. So it's gonna set inside by a half inch on both sides. And the inside of this thing is gonna to touch these two cleats. Now. You might want to make that just a hair less than that, like a sixteenth of an inch. So that when you put that in, you put the bind, bar, the strap on it and start torquing it down. If these two pieces aren't far enough out, then the bank clamp is going to pull in on here and it's going to open these joints up right here. And so by putting these cleats here, if that will stop that from opening up out there. If you don't have this dimension exactly right, that's why you want to have a few shims of some kind ready to use because you're going to put those shims in there to shim this up to the exact amount. So what you do is you put your bar clamp on there, tighten it down. If you're opening up your joints on the outside edge, then these cleats are too far. They're too close together. Just put a shim on the outside of it, another shim, and push it out. If when you tighten it down, it doesn't close on the inside, but it's tight on the outside, then you need to move, you need to take shims out of it instead. So once you've got it set, and when you pull the clamp, if it's tight on here and here, you're good to go. The only thing you have to do is put weight down to hold it flat on the table and you're done. All you need is the bar clamp. Now Dave, when he did his, he used those Bessie clamps and he put one across each one of these these joints with that Bessie clamp. And he said that helped hold that perfectly flat. The first problem with his way of doing it, it's so easy, but first off, I don't have any Bessie clamps. I can't do it that way. Second, he's clamping down <clears throat> and he's got this 
strap going across there also. I'm not sure how they don't interfere with each other as he's trying to clamp that down. Does he have the clamp underneath it in between? Then that would make it hard for that clamp to really, that strap to pull because that clamp is interfering with that strap pulling. Uh, possibly if you make that too tight on one of these or another. He said that he had to go back and adjust first the clamp and then the, the Bessie clamps and then the band clamp and then Bessie clamp, that type of thing. He had to go back and forth. That seems like an awful lot of work. If you do it this way, you can look at it. If you open on the outside, put more shims in it. If you open up on the inside, take shims out. It's that simple. And you can make this piece out of straight flat wood in just a matter of a couple minutes, as long as you know your dimensions before you do this. And it doesn't matter whether this is a six inch half circle or a six foot. This method should work. Now, don't get me wrong. I've never done this. I watched his video and the first thing I said, I don't think I would want to do it that way, even if I had Bessie clamps. So all I did was figure out in my head a better way of doing it. If you think this is a good idea, don't be afraid to say so. So I'd appreciate it. If you disagree with it, that's great too. Because I have never done it. So does this really work? In theory, it does. I would love to see it work. But I don't need an arch, six-foot arch. So I haven't tried to do this. Uh, someday, I think I probably will. But I think that it does work. And I think it's by far the easiest way to do half circles if you really want to. So if you disagree, just tell me, explain to me why it doesn't work is all I ask. And that would be, be no big deal. Dave, I'm going to make sure everybody comes and watches your video from this. And I hope it helps your subscription level. But uh, at the same time, don't take it personal. Because I think that this way is actually a little better way than the way you showed. And definitely takes a lot less clamps. So, now I don't have to run out and buy a whole bunch of Bessie clamps. And the question would be is that if I did with Bessie clamps, does that mean I also have to get different size Bessie clamps with different size arches or anyway it gets complicated uh i do appreciate everybody stopping by your thoughts your comments leave them down below i love to read them all if you like this video or you learned something here hit that like button it lets me know i did something right <clears throat> excuse me most importantly though i'm gonna get another cup of coffee no most importantly please come back again because I'm nowhere near done. Thanks. And we'll see you guys again very soon. Let me know what you do with this and how it works for you. So thanks. See you guys. Bye.